Hello students. In this video, we're going to solve a homogeneous linear system of ODEs. In this case, we'll have complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The assumption is that you already know how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a matrix, even in a complex case. So I'm going to go through that part of the video rather quickly. All right. So we rewrite this system as a matrix equation, and I'm using the dot to signify the derivative with respect to time. So x dot is the same as dx dt, and y dot is the same as dy dt. I pick off the coefficients here, 6 minus 1, 5, 4, and we have x, y. All right, I'm going to rewrite this as a vector equation. Sometimes you'll see it as a matrix vector equation. So Sometimes people reuse, they might say capital X, so they reuse the X, but they say, may say capital X or capital Y is equal to X, Y. And then in this case, the vector capital X dot is the vector X dot Y dot, and the capital X is the vector X, Y. So sometimes you'll see the matrix system written this way, or matrix equation written that way. So the matrix in this case, A, is 6, 5, minus 1, 4, and if we go through and find the eigenvalues, we see that we get lambda 1 is 5 plus 2i, lambda 2 is 5 minus 2i. That's a conjugate pair. We expect that to happen because we expect the 5 plus or minus 2i. So I'm going to focus um, on the lambda 1 for this video. So I'm just going to pick lambda 1. Remember, in the complex case, you only have to do half the work. Uh, likewise, if you find the eigenvectors, um, for lambda 1 is equal to 5 plus 2i, you get the eigenvector 1, 1 minus 2i. And then the other eigenvector is just going to be the complex conjugate of k1. Okay, so I'm going to pick lambda 1 is 5 plus 2i, and the eigenvector corresponding to that eigenvalue is 1, 1 minus 2i. And then I'm going to break up the eigenvector um, to its real part and imaginary part. So the real part is 1, 1. The imaginary part is 0, minus 2. And then likewise, the eigenvalue can be broken into its real and imaginary part. The real part is 5. The imaginary part is 2. Really, we're almost done with the problem at this point. I'm just going to give you the formulas for the solution. If you want to see a derivation, I suggest you consult your text, or um, I will have a video on how to derive these. But you can just use these formulas um, if you wanted to solve your problem here. So the solution is going to look something like this, as we expected before, where we have C1 times some vector plus C2 times some other solution vector. Now, here are the x1 and x2 in this case. Okay, so the vector that corresponds to this first vector here, which has the c1 by it, it's going to be the exponential e to the at. Now, if you have pure imaginary, if a is 0, then this part, this thing is just going to be 1. Anyhow, I break up the eigenvector into its real and imaginary parts, 1, 1, and 0, minus 2. And the first guy, x1, will look like this, e to the at. Then you'll have b1 cosine bt, where the little b is the imaginary part of the eigenvalue. So you're going to have the vector b1 cosine bt minus, very important to get these signs correct, b2 sine bt. Then x2 will be e to the at. Then you'll have capital B2. So you'll have the imaginary part. And that's positive. There's no minus sign there now. So see the difference in the signs, S-I-G-N's? Cosine Vt plus B1 sine Vt. So you kind of get this crisscross. Um, you know, B1's are diagonal from each other. B2's are diagonal. Um, sometimes your instructor may say, you know, just give me the components here the, of this solution. Just tell me what the x1 and x2 are. In other cases, they may want you to go further. Um, so uh, be careful that you're clear on what your expectation for writing your solution is. Okay, now, given the numbers that we have 
in this problem, I'm just going to use these formulas and put them in. So I'm going to have e to the 5t times, and then let's see, b1 was 1. So I'll have 1, 1, cosine 2t minus b2, which is 0 minus 2. So notice this minus sign is part of the formula. It does not come from this minus 2 here. That still stays intact. I left it like that so you'd see how it's input directly from the formula. And then I have sine, sine 2t. Then I take the 0 minus 2 and I put it down here and I have cosine 2t plus and then the 1, 1, which is the real part, times sine 2t. Sometimes this, as I said, this might be enough for your solution on your exam or quiz or homework. Other times you might be asked to decompose this further. So I'm going to go back and write the full solution. So the capital X vector here is equal to C1, X1 plus C2, X2. So this is what the full solution looks like. So I factored out the e to the 5t here, and then I have C1 times X1, which was this vector here, plus C2 times X2, which is this vector here. And I just put them down there. Now, sometimes your professor may want you to decompose it further into the components. So of x, little x and little y. So what are these values here, little x and little y? It's actually not that bad. I know it looks bad, but it looks like a big mess here. But it's really not too bad. Um, what you're going to do here is you're just going to take the c1, and you're going to distribute it into this vector. So notice you're going to get c1 cosine 2t minus, and then that's a 0. So that, that guy's gone plus c2 times, now there's a zero here, so that guy's gone. So you're just gonna get a c2 sine 2t. So the top one is gonna be e to the 5t times the quantity c1 cosine 2t plus c2 sine 2t. That's gonna be x, little x. y is going to look like this. You're gonna take the c1, you're gonna distribute it, you're gonna get a c1 cosine 2t plus c2, 2 c2 sine 2t plus minus 2c2 cosine 2t plus c2 sine 2t. So I just take the c2s and I just distribute them here and I take the c1s and I distribute them on this bottom row. So let me show you what that solution looks like rather than just talking about it. So the bottom guy, remember, it's going to be c1 and then the, the cosines I'm going to factor out. I'm going to put those together. So it's going to be c1 cosine 2t and then I get a minus 2 c2 cosine 2t. So I'm going to factor out the cosine 2t and I'll have a c1 minus c2. Then here's our e to the 5t cosine 2t. Plus, then I'll have a plus 2 c1 sine 2t plus c2 sine 2t. So I'll factor out the sine and I'll get 2c1 plus c2 and then I'll distribute the e to the 5t sine 2t. So that's what the y looks like. And remember the little x you just distribute the c1, get the cosine, distribute the c2, you get the sine, so you just get x, little x is equal to c1, then e to the 5t cosine 2t plus c2, e to the 5t sine 2t. So this, so your solution will be de decomposed fully this way. It's just a matter of the distributive property and collecting like terms and then adding the vectors component by component. That's it. So here's three forms of the solution. You just have to know under what, what are the circumstances under which you're supposed to write your answer. Okay, that's how you write the solution or find the solution to a homogeneous linear system with complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Here are the formulas for the vectors, and here are three forms of the solution. Piecemeal, written as a complete solution with the arbitrary constants, and then the component version. Good luck.